Hi everyone, welcome to Monday Morning Manifestation. I'm your coach, Elizabeth Pearson, and I've got my coffee ready to go. Hopefully everybody's gearing up and ready for another exciting week. Um, this week we're gonna talk about gratitude. Uh, I know that this is a very somewhat trendy topic, I feel like. Um, a lot of people hyping up gratitude, man, be gracious all the time, no matter what. Uh, and I agree with that, but let me say this. Gratitude was not always easy for me. How about you guys? Some days it can be really fucking hard to feel grat gratitude. I don't know what situation you're in, um, but for me, gratitude was always conditional, right? So it always had strings attached. I wasn't going to feel grateful if I had received something that I felt like I deserved, right? Because I kept thinking, why should I be grateful for this? I deserved this all along. I worked for this. Actually, if I think about it, this took too long to even get to me. So no, I'm not going to be grateful for that. Um, that was the way I lived for a really long time. And I'll tell you what, I read this book, Thanking Grow Rich by Pam Grout. And I was already on this path, but I'll tell you what, guys, I think this is on Audible too, available on Audible. But it's really the best money you can spend. If you're going to read one book this year, uh, this is a fantastic one to read. And on a side note, do you know that most CEOs and super overachievers read between 60 and 70 books a year? So maybe it's time to raise standards on how many books we read. I love books, so I'll plow through one a week. But, um, but this one is a super easy read, even if you just have uh, it on book on tape. Listen to it in your car when you're in traffic. It's a great read. But what Pam really preaches isn't about being grateful just to get more, right? For the sole purpose of obtaining wealth. That's the wrong way to go about being gracious. Um, we should really feel gracious and constant gratitude uh, as often as possible throughout the day. So for everything. So it's, it's really about being an alchemist, taking a situation that might seem bad and trying to find, you know, the silver lining in it which I know can be hard sometimes, right? When you're sitting in your car and you spill your coffee in your lap or when your kid is up in the middle of the night puking or shitting all over the bed. I mean, these are not moments when you usually think, wow, thanks for this lesson. Whatever it is, she thinks. I really needed this today. But Pam and everybody else who's super smart in the world seems to say that that's exactly when you should be grateful because we should be grateful that whatever's happening uh, happening to us is happening because it's always a learning opportunity and that if there is that storm cloud and maybe it's the rain's pounding down real hard, you're having a really bad week, a bad month, bad year, that there is going to be a rainbow afterwards. So if you can't feel gratitude, maybe in that exact moment um, where something not so great is happening, try to at least think about the fact that after this passes, something good is going to happen, right? Because that's how we learn and we grow. It isn't through the easy times. It's through the hard times when you're down for the count and then somebody comes by and kicks you while you're down. Uh, but those are precisely the times when we have to be grateful because we can say, okay, I learned that lesson. Thank you. Check it off the list, God or the universe or whatever. Don't send it my way again. Uh, because the more that you resist, what does it do? persist, right? Everything we resist persists. So if we accept it, we surrender it, we, we surrender to the situation, and then we have gratitude for that situation, hopefully it won't happen to us again. And then, you know, this is a no-brainer, but look for all those moments that maybe you're missing that you should be grateful for. Um, for me, I know it's for my family, my husband and my kids. I've got two beautiful daughters who are healthy, which is a miracle in itself. But when they're being really, let's call it difficult assholes, uh, I find it really hard to not get upset and not want to go down that negative shit talking rabbit hole. But you can't, you got to try to check yourself, at least cut down on the frequency that maybe you go down that rabbit hole and think to yourself, Thank you, God. Thank you for these kids. Thank you for the voice they have to scream 
or cry or do whatever, or when you're having a shitty day at work, thank God for the opportunity to make money, you know? Um, and then really, really bask and revel in those times when it's easier to be grateful, right? When you're looking at a beautiful sunset or you get an upgrade on a flight or, you know, somebody buys you a drink or something. Those are all moments that maybe we'll kind of brush them off. It's like, oh, I got lucky. You didn't get lucky. Somebody or something sent that to you to test you. And you better say thanks. <laughs> you better be grateful. And guess what? If you are, more and more is gonna come. This is something, you know, to steal Oprah's line, what I know for sure is that the more grateful, at least in my life I have been, I've just been hit with more abundance and more blessings than I ever could have dreamed. Go out, have a killer week, and I will see you next Monday.